Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So I was snooping around on Twitter a few days ago, as I usually do. Shameless self-promotion! <laughs> and I saw that a particular anime title was trending, that anime being Ghost in the Shell. Now, if you've never heard of Ghost in the Shell before, it is an anime that many people in the anime community consider to be an absolute classic cyberpunk sci-fi noir anime. Many of their fans are very die-hard, and the series itself is actually very influential within the anime community, but also outside of the anime community as well. So news broke out a while ago that Hollywood was actually in the works of making a Ghost in the Shell live action movie which was set to air sometime in 2017. Now if you know anything about me, the moment you hear the words live action anime adaptation, my first reaction is <laughs> Oh God! As the track record shows that many films that are included in this caliber have ended up being huge piles of doo-doo burgers. And it seems that the same reaction, the <laughs> was happening to a lot of people concerning the Ghost in the Shell live action movie. But not for the same reasons. Now the main reason why everybody is raging and butt hurting is because of this woman right here. This, if you guys don't know, is Scarlett Johansson, a very, very sexy Hollywood actress who I definitely want to get a piece of, just saying. But it seems that everybody is kind of in a blind rage because Miss Johansson right here has been confirmed to play the lead character of the Ghost in the Shell live action movie, Ksanagi Motoko. And a few days ago, an official picture of Scarlett Johansson as Ksanagi Motoko dropped. Here it is right here. Now, all I'm gonna say is, she looks fucking awesome. I don't know about you guys, but this right here is a much more convincing portrayal of Kusanagi Motoko than, say, fucking Justin Chatwin's portrayal of Goku. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But the lovely folks over at GoBoyano grabbed a bunch of tweets that really highlight the internet's reaction to this whole Ghost in the Shell controversy. So let's read out a few of them, shall we? When Scarlett Johansson is the star of the live-action Ghost in the Shell instead of Ninko Kikuchi. <laughs> Flippity flop flop. What's that sound? That's the sound of the Ghost in the Shell movie's feet in the box office. I'm extra bummed because the truth isn't being given a chance. They don't know that making Ghost in the Shell with a Japanese actress won't work. So many people complaining about Scarlett Joe casting in the Ghost in the Shell live action. <laughs> if it hurts you that much, go watch the anime. Oh wait, that's me. Oh hey, thanks guys. If you're mad about Ghost in the Shell, look at it this way. At least it can't be worse than Dragon Ball Evolution. Nothing can be worse than that. <laughs> people are freaking out about the Ghost in the Shell live action, but should we be? Honestly, I'm just curious about the end results. And I'm kind of salty because I don't want to support it, but I fucking love Ghost in the Shell, man. So it seems the reason why people hate the Joe already is because she's not Asian. And that since Ghost in the Shell is originally a anime and manga, aka an Asian franchise, and that all the characters in Ghost in the Shell are Japanese characters, aka Asian characters, that means that all the cast members for a live action movie need to also be of Asian descent. Hey, here's an idea. Shut the fuck up. Some motherfuckers are way too quick to judge this movie at this point. I mean, seriously, you're losing hope over an entire movie just because the lead role is being played by a sophisticated and talented Hollywood name who has pretty much nailed every role that she's ever played in. Really, dude? And look, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are heaps of fantastic Asian actresses who could probably portray Xanagi Motoko's character even better than Scarlett Johansson. But hey, if you seriously butthurt about all this, then consider this. What if the movie just sucks? If the writing, directing, producing, the whole behind the scenes sucks balls, then it really doesn't matter if the lead role actress is Scarlett Johansson or whoever. A turd with sprinkles is still a turd, buddy. Having an all Asian cast for a lot of live action anime movies definitely didn't save her from being huge piles of shit. And just because Ghost in the Shell is an Asian work and that all the characters are Japanese, that does not mean the entire cast needs to be Asian. That's just a dumb way to think. I mean, look at the recent attack Attack on Titan live action film. The entire cast was comprised of Japanese actors and actresses, even though if you have read the manga or watched the anime would know that all the characters are supposed to be German, if the German names didn't give it away already. Did people praise this movie saying? That was a brilliant casting choice because AOT is like an Asian franchise, therefore all the cast needed to be Asian and they, na na they nailed that, it's the best anime ever, 10 out of 10, yeah. No, because the entire movie was was horse shit regardless. And as much as I am a purist in some aspects of pop culture, I say we should at least give Scarlett Johansson a chance. I mean, we all know that she can act in other movies and I'm sure she's gonna do her absolute best in this movie as well. And look, I really don't wanna touch upon the whole race subject because I know how much it triggers people, but I really have to do this, okay? So I apologize in advance. I'm sure you guys have at least asked yourself or I've seen an immense amount of people, especially in the anime community or people just starting out in the anime community, ask a question which goes something like this. Hey Joey, why do all 
anime characters look white? I mean, I know they're supposed to be Japanese and all that, but why do they look white? Do they, do they do, are they doing that on purpose? They don't look Japanese at all. Now, I am not going to answer this question in this video because that's an entirely different question for another day. But it's clear just from the amount of these kinds of questions that do exist on the internet that most people, or a lot of people at least, do see anime characters as being portrayed as white people. Like, they look like white people, or at least they don't look Asian, and Xanagi Motoko from Ghost in the Shell is definitely no exception. But now when we get an actual white person to play an anime character that looks predominantly white, people lose their shit? How fucking ironic. And I know for you diehard fans out there that it's not a matter of the race, it's about the character and the origin of the character, and as a diehard fan of Ghost in the Shell myself, I completely understand that. But come on dude, it's an image. I think it's only fair that we critique the work once we have more than just a measly fucking image. Once the movie is out and you watch it for yourself, then complain all you want. I personally am not going to say anything about this movie at this point because, again, there's just so little information about it. I'm gonna wait until at least there is a trailer before I start to judge whether this movie is going to be good or not. But I think Scarlett Johansson being cast as Kusanagi Motoko isn't necessarily a bad casting choice. I think it's better to have a trusted and well-known name like Scarlett Johansson to play the lead of a movie like this than, say, this guy. Like, who, who the fuck? Oh, oh, what the fuck? Get out of here! And having a big name like Scarlett Johansson is great publicity for people who don't know or have never heard of the original Ghost in the Shell franchise. Because if the movie does end up being decent or even good, then it's great publicity for the original franchise as well. But on the other end, I understand that if the movie does end up being shit, then it does bring a bad name to the Ghost in the Shell movie, but there's really nothing we can do about that. And I certainly don't think that the entire movie is going to be ruined just because Sanagi Motoko was played by a white actress, like seriously. And honestly, if you're still not happy about the fact that Scarlett Johansson is going to play Xanagi Motoko, then, you know, go watch the anime, go read the manga, but ultimately, shut the fuck up. Because seriously, who the fuck cares? Are we seriously worrying about the race of a character before we even start to discuss whether the film itself is going to be good or not? Oh no, the white person is playing the role of a Japanese woman who looks predominantly white. Fucking call the New York Times. Oh wait, never mind. Looks like someone already did. I'm just glad that Hollywood decided to adapt this series than the other anime adaptations that they were thinking of doing. Like, really, dude? If the huge success of The Matrix has anything to say about it, which, by the way, was heavily, heavily influenced by the original Ghost in the Shell series, it's that these kinds of cyber noir series usually do end up being quite successful, even as a standalone movie. By the way, that was a completely unintentional reference to standalone complex, so if you picked up on that, then good job. But ultimately, we just need to chill out a little bit and not be so quick to judge. Because at this point, again, it's so difficult to tell whether this movie is going to be good or not with so little information that we have. But as a Ghost in the Shell fan, I am in high hopes for this film. But hey, if it ends up being a shit movie, then it ends up being a shit movie. There's nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. Guys, let me know in the comments below, are you for or against Scarlett Johansson being cast as Kusanagi Motoko in the Ghost in the Shell live action movie? Or like me, do you just not give a shit? Also, what do you think about ethnicity in movies or keeping the ethnic canon based on the purest perspective of moviegoers and anime fans? I want you guys to let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make.